So this is the famous This Style Rocks oh, kitchen. Oh yeah. I feel yes. like I feel like I know it already. Intimately. Yeah. Maybe not the scones. No, they're not always there. Have you, have you baked those? <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah. Look at that, domestic yeah. goddess as oh, well. Well, you know, I like to think so. Talk me through how you planned out and designed the kitchen. Well, we were very lucky because we had this amazing amount of glass. Although it seems very lucky, but in actual fact, you have to really think about how to work with that amount of glass. The kitchen is hot, mm. it's very bright. Arger as well. <laughs> There's an arger in situ, which we inherited with the house. Yeah. And I never wanted, I didn't think I wanted an arger. Now I can't live without it. Mm. So it was how we kind of incorporate all those different elements um, into the kitchen and make it feel like, I didn't want it to feel too kitcheny. So how to design a kitchen that doesn't look like a kitchen, yeah. even though it's got a whopping great big what arger. Whopping great big. In it's a middle. bottom warmer, it's not an arger, it's not an oven, it's a bottom warmer. Most people park themselves they? here and don't move. Especially in the winter. Yeah, particularly, not on a day like today. So have you, you, you've completely redone this, it wasn't like this when you moved it, Pretty apart much. from the arger? No, it had a beautiful kitchen, but it yeah. wasn't to my taste. Right. It was very kind of oldie worldy, and I didn't feel it particularly went with the, the, the glass and the, the conservatory. Um, we had a bottle green arger. I looked at having it re-enamelled yeah. and it was about two and a half thousand and I just couldn't justify that. That could go a long way to, you know. So this was seven or eight years ago, wasn't yeah, it? That you moved in? Yeah, yeah. So um, I knew I wanted a solid wood kitchen. I knew I wanted something that wouldn't date. Mm -hmm. um, I knew I didn't want handles or things that made me think of a kitchen. Because this is not a new house, is it? No. We're not. This is a, a yeah. beautiful period property. Yeah. Yeah. So although the elements of the contemporary needed to be classic as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly that. And it needed to be something that I could live with for a long time because we were going to spend a lot of money on something like a kitchen. It's mm. a big investment piece, isn't of course it? it is, so yeah. we wanted it to be something that we would be happy to live with. We could very quickly update this kitchen yeah. in a few years with some paint or some handles. Yeah. So that was one of the big things. And just clean lines, you know, the, the kitchen before was very intricate and I just wanted nice clean lines because I knew I was going to put a lot of stuff so your personality yeah so you've layered on then layered yeah. onto a classic kitchen yeah. your personality. Exactly. And you haven't been afraid to do that in a kitchen because no. most people do not put, I love this wallpaper. Yeah, me too. It's on my bathroom ceiling, I've got it? to say. Oh, so yeah, yes. we have, we have similar taste, it. isn't it? it? Incredible. It, it never, I mean, I've had, it's been up a few years now yeah. and it's still around, isn't it? You, you yeah, know, but it's, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. And it's quirky and full of personality it's and lovely. punch, isn't it? It's really lovely. When we first put did, it up, Did was, you pick this because of yeah. the... Yeah, so I, uh, bizarrely, when you look around the house, there's a lot of green now. I wasn't a massive fan of green originally mm. in interiors, mm. but we had to embrace it. You know, that's, that, that's what we've got. Yeah. And um, I, I, honestly, I'm just delighted with it. I never get bored of looking at it. And you haven't got many um, wall hung no. shelves. And it's uh, units rather. Is that because you've got a relatively, low it's ceiling. not low ceiling, you could still get units in there, but it feels much more open because you haven't yeah, done that. Yeah, and so. I also think it feels less kitcheny when you yeah. when you don't have all those sort of wall units. It was back to that thing of it wanting to feel like a room. Mm -hmm. Uh, rather than a, 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 an obvious kitchen. We did originally, it had wall units there. Right. Um, and off with the off units. Off with the units. Off with the units, off be gone. Units, which means I'm literally <laughs> cramming stuff into every little hole in this kitchen yeah. because there's not enough space. Yeah. Um, cupboard space because you fill it don't you whatever you've got you, you do but you have got the units over there so yep. you you can go for this unitless look or above yeah. above surface unitless yeah. look on some of the walls but yeah. then to be practical you've still got the yeah. plates and glassware yeah. rather over there haven't you? which are, are are going to change shortly those oh, are they? Doors. they were a big mistake <laughs> spoke too soon didn't big I? mistake the, the, the cupboards are staying okay. um the the glass doors i kind of relied on my family to keep putting things, you know, I asked the kids to take, empty the dishwasher right. and they don't arrange it beautifully. Pesky, and pesky It just kids. annoys me. So they're go I'm going to have solid doors put back on. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> because I don't think I can live with dust doors any longer. It just looks too messy. It's a very um, convivial space, isn't mm -hmm. it? For entertaining. Mm. You've got a big table over there. And yeah. actually, unusually, this is your entrance way into the house, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Which is a good and a bad thing. Right. So it's good on days like today when I've made it look pristine for you. And when people come, they very rarely move beyond this room. Mm. It's interesting though, isn't it? Because no matter what size your house is, whether you live in a one bed flat or whether you live in a, you know, yeah. lucky enough to have a, a beautiful period of property, every house 
has its compromises and every house has the, those that room where you think how am I going to make the best of this of course. and it is just about making the best of it no matter the size of the house yeah. and there's tips that you, that you can draw from that you know every, like you say lots of compromises previous houses we've lived in have had different challenges mm. and compromises mm. but I kind of rise to that yeah. I see it as a challenge exactly and I think right how can we make this best work you know I, I used to dream of building a house from scratch and saying then I'd get everything right mm. and I probably wouldn't. I can you say but then you see then you'd have a new built house. Yeah. And yeah. You like I the character have a of the old roof yeah. or... <laughs> What's wrong with those? Like character. Or ginormous spiders that pop up out of the floorboards. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. I, I don't think I want to live in a new bot a new build house and therefore that I have to then mm work out how to how to how to deal with all the compromises in a in a fun and creative way. Well I think you've I think you've risen to the challenge very well. Thank you. Risen as well as your scones. I think oh, you should have well, more of those. I don't know about those. <laughs>